Making a 400 horsepower small block Chevy is easier than ever. I'm Car Guy V8. Let's talk about it. First, I'm going to talk about the cheapest way to get to the 400 horsepower mark. And you've probably already heard about this combo before or combos similar to it because there are a lot of them out there. Basically, you take an Edelbrock intake like an RPM Air Gap or Performer and you take an Extreme Energy 282 or bigger camshaft and then you throw a set of used Vortec heads on your current engine and you will have approximately 400 horsepower. A little less if you go on the milder side with the camshaft, possibly more if you use a very large camshaft with those heads. The other way is you can just buy an entire engine from a junkyard or, you know, from the Facebook marketplace, a Vortec engine, and then put all these parts in that engine. And you will have close to 400 horsepower on this combo. But the Vortec head combo does have its risks, so I'm going to talk to you about that real quick. Several months ago, I bought a Vortec 350 for $200 that had thrown a rod out of its pan, and I really bought it for the cylinder heads because I had plans to use them on a different engine, and this was a cheap way to get into some Vortec heads. And so I pulled the heads, and luckily there was no damage on the heads, and actually they looked really good. So I took them to my local machine shop, which I've used many times in the past. Great shop. And unfortunately, he messaged me and said that both of them were cracked. Now, one of them was repairable, but at that point, I would have had an extra $100 into a single cylinder head without its matching pair. They were 906 casting numbers. And so I just decided, I was like, you know what, the good one, I just gave it to him for a little bit of in-store credit and decided to go a different route with my engine. Now, when I was in the machine shop, he did mention that a lot of guys bring their Vortec heads in there to get tested, either heads on an engine they already had, Facebook Marketplace heads, or even junkyard Vortec heads, you know, guys hoping, just like me, that they've got a good set of heads, but a lot of times they end up being cracked. So you might be spending 100 or 200 bucks just to essentially have scrap iron. So that is worth noting. You can buy new Vortec heads from Jags. It winds up being roughly $800 for a set. So if you don't want to deal with all the unknowns of buying or pulling a set of heads, you can always buy a new set. Now a 400 horsepower Vortec setup could be as cheap as a few hundred dollars or more than two grand. It's all dependent on the deals you find and the work you're willing to do yourself. The 383 in my El Camino has Vortec heads and a mild cam and an RPM air gap intake and it is tons of fun. <laughs> This next combo I'm going to show you blows away even my 383. It is a very strong running engine. So now we'll move on to the easiest guaranteed way to make a 400 horsepower small block setup. So the reason I say this is the easiest is because this is just a click of the mouse away and you can have these parts arrive on your doorstep and you will have a 400 horsepower setup. So the secret weapon to this is the AFR Enforcer Cylinder Heads. Now let me mention, I'm not affiliated with any of these brands in this video. I just have personal experience with both of these setups, and so I'm sharing that experience, and I really like the AFR Enforcer heads, and I will be buying another set at some point in the future. They have gone up just a little in price since I bought mine a couple years ago. They're a couple hundred dollars higher than back when I bought mine. So for just $1,300, you could own a set of AFR Enforcer cylinder heads that flow 251 CFM at 500 and 600 thousandths lift. And this is an easy way to make 400 or more horsepower with your small block Chevy. And these use, you know, AFR's hardware and AFR's valve springs. So you can put pretty large camshafts in the, in the engine and these heads will easily support the camshaft without, you know, a bunch of valve float or anything like that. So these heads also say that 6,000 RPM is the limit, but I know from personal experience, I've revved mine to 6,800 RPM. And the 
The power does start to roll off around 6,400, but it is not dead by 6,000. This thing, this, these heads want to rev, and I love that about them. My personal setup is a 9.63 to 1 355 Chevy engine, and it uh, has uh, Edelbrock EPS, Performer EPS intake, and XR282 camshaft. <laughs> which is a hydraulic roller. I actually wound up running factory lifters with it because at the time I bought the cam, I didn't know I would have a roller engine. I bought it for a different engine, but I put it in a factory roller block and used factory roller lifters. And these, this of course has the set of AFR Enforcer cylinder heads on it, and it's got some PRW roller rockers. So the actual top end of this engine wound up being about 2,800 bucks, which yes, that's, that's some change but it makes a good amount of power. It makes a little over 400. And Engine Masters has tested a couple of setups real similar to my engine using these heads. They built a 383 that was 10 to one compression. So <clears throat> it was almost half a point higher than mine. And of course had 28 extra cubic inches, but it made 471 horsepower. I will mention it had a Edelbrock RPM air gap intake on it. So a little bit better intake little bit better um, compression and a few more cubic inches and it made 471 horsepower and they also built a stout little 327 that it had a, a thumper cam one of the 227 241 thumper cams and it made 440 I believe 441 horsepower which is quite respectable for a little 327 so I have no doubt that even though my engine has a slightly milder intake on it and a little bit less compression than the 383. Mine's probably sitting around 415 or so horsepower, which is respectable. And revving that thing out to 64, 6500 RPM is an absolute ton of fun. As you can see, it is easy to make 400 horsepower out of a small block Chevy these days. Could you make more with an LS? Yes, you could. But then you could make more than an LS with a big block. So at what point do you end? You just gotta have fun with what you got. And the LS, of course, then you'd be paying for a tune, you'd be paying for valve springs, cam, all that stuff. So no matter what you do, you're spending money. Everything's expensive these days. Small block, big block, LS, Mopar, Ford, whatever it is, you're spending money. And I happen to like these small block Chevys, and I happen to know what 400 horsepower feels like, and it's quite a bit of fun. Everybody's chasing seven, 800 these days, but if you have a well set up lightweight car with a set of gears in it and 400, 450 horsepower, it's a lot of fun on the street. It really is. So with that guys, I hope y'all got something from this. Let me know in the comments what you think and thank y'all for watching.